West Coast. This is DJ and Lindsay's Best in the Biz Showdown here on ESPN 8, The Ocho. All right, as day one gets underway, let's head down to St. Augustine to see how Robert and Lisa are getting off to a hot start. It looks like the moderator down there, Adam Fuller, has signaled Robert Bramos to go first and deliver his pitch. Remember, again, it is going to be why work with me. My history, my past, what I've done. 2021, um, I was my first full calendar year. I did about 30 deals, over $11 million in sales. Um, and what it does, I had not only buyers, but sellers. Jumping right, into, with their home. right into statistics. I, I think that's a huge ball, play. Ball, Robert, ball, big numbers ball, guy, did had a great ball, first year here at DJ Lindsay Real Estate, and he is not afraid to immediately tap right into that. Uh, yeah, I definitely see... Uh, I'm going to guess to say his inner Italian coming out. Big hand talker. Big hand talker. Bramos. Not really sure that's Italian, but we'll get we'll get that point of origin soon enough. Prices went all the way up. And I was able to help him navigate over almost 30 people for about $11 million worth of real estate. Um, right into current really market statistics. Uh, See, so, now that's so a gutsy call really because really usually you you don't really want to throw too many, too many numbers based on, based on what the market's doing because you have no uh, you have no clue what else somebody else has told them. Stick to what you've uh, done and what you know, and I think that's going to be the best, safest play here and why they should work with you. Lisa's body language definitely receptive and combative. So let's see how she comes in her counterpart. Almost slightly defensive. I dig it. So kind of played middle of the road, didn't really attack buy or sell side specifically, kind of played middle of the road. I think that's going to wind up hurting him, but don't forget, everybody has their initial pitch and then a rebuttal before the decision is made. See where he cleans it up. Let's see how Lisa kicks it off. Okay, um, I've been in the business since 06. Wow. Taps deep into her history, being in the market, being in real estate since 2006, giving her an edge on this. That she's seen a bubble before, so she's know exactly what's going to go on, which is going to be a huge, huge comfort to people that are looking to buy in this market that are really unsure about the market. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Finding the right house. I love that. Dove right into the buy side, knew exactly what she was going for. All right, kept it pretty short on her end. Didn't really, yeah, didn't really get too deep into some of the uh, some of the nuts and bolts of it. Just really spoke to what she knew and how she was going to attack that buy side client. Oh yeah. The person moving on from this round is going to be Mr. Robert. After a show of hands, it's going to be Robert Bramos is going to take the belt down in San Augustine in day one by a nose. All right, let's jump back into the studio. I have Brett Moreland here, director of resale. After watching this first St. Augustine bout, Robert going head to head against Lisa, what were your kind of like main takeaways? I think, you know, Robert really jumped in right away with a lot of confidence, you know, and I think that's huge to have that confidence when you are handling these situations and pitching yourself. Um, you know, he really spoke highly of what he has done, um, you know, and I think that speaks volumes because your average agent isn't really selling much real estate, you know, five to seven homes a year on average. And, you know, the fact that he sold over 30 last year, you know, for $11 million in, in real estate is, is pretty impressive. You know, I think that's definitely impactful. And I think, you know, the way he handled it was was very solid. Um, you know, I think with, with Lisa, I think, you know, hers was, was She came out the, strong too, going deep into her Rolodex. She's been working since 2006. Right. She knows the industry. Right. Yeah. And I think that's huge because that builds credibility. You know, anybody that's got some sort of longevity in the business, that's instantly going to give the customer that comfort and that credibility that, hey, my agent knows what they're doing. Because if they didn't, they wouldn't be in the industry that long. So I think, you know, with, with hers, that was that was really solid to, to start off that way. But I will say, you know, luckily we've got the, the crowd here to be able to, to decide on, on who the winner is. Exactly. All right. Jumping into the Jacksonville bout, Tommy Scott versus Chris Fonseca. <laughs> A little bit of a different approach here. Obviously, Robert and Lisa down at STA really talked about kind of like their Rolodex, their history. These two, different approach kind of going into who you work with really matters, which again, I mean, I think the St. Augustine bout carried the same tone, but these guys went about it a little differently. What would you say to that? Yeah, no, I definitely agree 100%. You know, I, I really liked how Tommy came out hot with a why would you want to work with a novice 
when you can work with an expert. Great line. That's gonna that's right. a, that has longevity in it. That I mean, that is huge. Just coming out with that kind of confidence, just to, to call out all the people that are brand new in the industry that don't know what they're doing. Uh, you know, I love that confidence in, in in him and being able to shoot right out the gate with that. Uh, with Chris, you know, I love how he really kind of drove home who you work with matters. It Big doesn't whether you know if it's a, a friend or a family member. Like you know, you a lot of times don't want to mix personal with business and for sure you really drove that home i think you know which made for another tough tough bout yeah tough bout and again obviously it always goes through a decision I, I absolutely love that you know having your colleagues weigh in say hey this is this is who we thought did the best job given the circumstances and again you have to keep in mind you know these realtors are given this topic right on the spot obviously right. it's something that they should be preaching every day it is their business but we tell them you know day of morning of literally seconds before that they uh they get this thing going on what they're going to be pitching so you know kudos to all four people that competed today Absolutely. You know, uh, unfortunately, two had to go. We said goodbye to Chris Fonseca and Lisa Farrell in this competition. Tommy Scott's going to move on to the second round, as is Robert Bramos. We'll see who they'll take on in round two a few days from now. But let's not forget, we have a lot of game left. We have yes. day, day two and day three coming up here this week uh, to round out week one. Short week here with the holiday happening previously. But I think this is going to be one hell of a competition to, to follow and to really see who's going to take it home. I Brett, agree. Appreciate it. Thanks, Absolutely, man. man. Always a pleasure. See ya.